May 25th, 2015 from the Nassau Veterans Memorial Coliseum in Uniondale, New York. It was WWE's Raw, and we had some tag team action. His New Day was in the ring cutting a promo, and then Kane came out, and New Day was talking about how it's not fair at Elimination Chamber that they're going to have to defend their titles in an Elimination Chamber match against five tag teams. So Kane came out, he's like, you think that's not fair? Try this one on for size. You're in a 10-on-3 handicap match against all five of those teams right now. So it was the Ascension, the Primetime Players, the Brass Club, Kid and Cesaro, Los Matadors, and the Lucha Dragons. All 10 men, five teams, in one corner versus the New Day. And if that doesn't make you like New Day, I don't know what will. I mean, they were against insurmountable odds here. As uh, JBL put it, 10 to 1 odds. And as Booker T and Michael Cole pointed out, no, it's 10 to 3 odds. I mean, I guess if you want to get technical with the teams, you could say 5 to 1, even though there's three members in New Day, just like back in the day, the Freebirds, as they uh, have pointed out on occasion. But yeah, so we had, you know, New Day going at it against all these teams. And it wasn't long before this one just broke into absolute mayhem, total pandemonium. It was just craziness as they all just got in there. And it was just all ten men jumping New Day. And it just broke out in total chaos, craziness, everybody flying around. You know, freaking Tyus O'Neal did like a double clothesline. And uh, freaking then, I think it was, was it? I think it was one of those Matadors came over the top wiping everybody out. You know, the Lucha Dragons were flying around. It was crazy. But as it ended up, it was a disqualification, a DQ win for the New Day. So New Day is victorious against all five teams, ten men on three. And New Day comes out on top. New Day? But then the Brass Ring Club, Kid and Cesaro, hit the ring. And Cesaro grabs Xavier Woods, and he puts him in the big swing. And then Tyson Kidd drop kick to the face. So that was pretty awesome. And I'm definitely hyped up and excited for the Elimination Chamber Tag Team Title Match. That's going to be awesome. First time ever. Six teams in the Elimination Chamber going at it with the Tag Team Titles on the line. It's going to be amazing. I cannot wait. It's going to be so awesome. I'll tell you, like, New Day, I like them. I know a lot of people hate them. Everybody says they suck, but they're actually pretty awesome. They're really good in the ring, and they're awesome on the mic. But really, I'm going to be rooting for the Brass Ring Club. I'm going for Tyson Kidd and Cesaro. I hope they can get the belts back. Tyson Kidd and Cesaro are one of the best tag teams ever. Right now, we're seeing a resurgence in the tag team division. And I think a big part of that is, is ever since Kidd and Cesaro formed their team, they're so good that... Having such an awesome team makes other teams have to develop or rise up to their level. You know what I'm saying? So it's like that's a big reason I think why the tag team competition is so, you know, good right now is because of Kid and Cesaro. Like I said, if you put Kid and Cesaro in any era, they could hang. They would be champs in any era. They could go at it with any of the great tag teams throughout the history of WWE. But that's just my opinion. Like I said, I think they're pretty awesome. And I think all the teams that are in this match are pretty good. And there's even teams in that aren't in the match that would be kind of cool to have in the match. But you can only fit six to eight teams in the Elimination Chamber. It's going to be pretty packed as it is regarding if they were going to throw in, like, Macho Mandel and Axel Mania and then maybe, like, Harper and Rowan, you know. But as it is, it's going to be the New Day, the champs. The Brass Ring Club, Tyson Kidd and Cesaro, Los Matadors, Lucha Dragons, Prime Tom Players, and the Ascension. And it's going to be awesome. I'm definitely excited. Maybe the Prime Tom Players win. I think they have a chance at winning it. Maybe the Lucha Dragons win. They have a chance too. You never know. Don't really think Los Matadors are going to win it. Don't really think the Ascension, even though I'd give them more of a shot than Los Matadors. But I'm thinking, you know, and maybe New Day retains it. I would not be surprised. Kind of hoping Kid and Cesaro get it back because, you know, I, like, I thought it was good that they had New Day get it from them. But, like, Kid and Cesaro, I don't think they should go too long without the belts. Like, I think you should put it back on them. If anything, I thought maybe they should have got it back earlier and kind of go back and forth with it. There's nothing wrong with trading the belts back and forth. You know what I mean? 
but like you don't want to keep the belts off Kid and Cesaro too long. That's just my opinion, though. I think they really should have the belts. They are the best team. So I like New Day. I know a lot of people don't like New Day, but I really appreciate you know what they're doing. You know, on the mic and in the ring, I think they're pretty awesome. They're pretty entertaining. They're a lot of fun to watch. They make it really exciting. So I like Kid and Cesaro a lot. They're like one of my favorite teams ever. And I mean, New Day makes it a fun feud like versus them and then you throw all these other teams in the mix it's just more excitement it's gonna be awesome i like tag team wrestling and i'm definitely happy that they put more of an onus on it recently but that's what i think let me know what you think in the comments section below definitely interested to reach your thoughts and opinions thank you very much for listening it is appreciated